Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Wiimod. There's a new version, 8.11.6, and we're going to install that today on our Steam Deck, all right? Because I've been getting a lot of viewers that are commenting that the new version came out and they watched my videos and they couldn't get it to install and they're wondering if it's because it's the new version and I don't really think so. So we're on our Steam Deck right now. Let's take a look at my current Wiimod. Let's boot it up. I think this is the old version because I've blocked the update. I made a, I did a patch onto my Wiimod that it blocks the updates. So see here, it's trying to update, but um, I don't think it would. All right. Let me see. We should be on 8.11.5, the last version. All right. So let's go to... Okay, here it is. Okay, we can't. Oh, here it is. Okay, 8.11.5. Yep, here it is. So, yeah, that's good. That's good news. That's good news. And let's go to our settings and take a look at our OS. I'm currently on the beta channel. So, I'm on OS 3.5.1. This is the beta channel. All right. So yeah, please take note of that. I'm pretty sure it works on the stable version as well. So 3.4.11, but I'm not going to do it both in this video. Okay, so now let's just exit big picture mode, go back to desktop mode. So this is my desktop mode. Okay, I think I've got Wiimod open here. So let's just quit it. All right, and let's get ready. Let's get ready to install. Okay, so what I normally would do, I just go to my channel, download the latest version. All right, let's go to my channel. Okay, find a Wii mod video. I have plenty of those. Not recently. Uh, okay, here, here's one. Here's the Wii mod video. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. And then I'm just gonna get the download. Okay. Okay, it's paused. All right. Now here's the Wiimod download. I'll leave a link in the description so you don't have to go to an old video. All right, so I'm downloading it. All right, so it's 8.11.6. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so let's do it the old fashioned way. So how do we install it? We go to our Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse. Okay, go to downloads and then I'm gonna locate my where is it? Oh, here it is. Wiimod 8.11.6.exe. Okay, that's the one we want. Okay, and then on our left-hand side, we should have that on our left-hand side. Here it is. Wiimod 8.11.6. Go into its properties. Okay, and then we're going to use Proton 6.19 GE2. Okay. Okay. And we're going to install it first. So this is an installer. So we need to use this Proton 6.19 GE2 to install. Other Protons won't be able to install it. So let's just wait for it. We should have a splash screen if we're doing it right. Yes, here it is, the splash screen. Installing, and then it should go away. That means it's installed. Okay, it's taking its time. Okay, now it should automatically stop. We don't have to press anything. Yeah, it stopped. So now we have to locate where we installed it. So go to your Dolphin, open Home. Make sure you click these three lines and show hidden files. Here is checked. Because we're going into a hidden folder, dot Steam. Steam, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and then just mod modified. It says just now. Yeah, so I know it. It installed the prefix here. All right, so I go into here. Here's the prefix folder, drive C, and it's installed in the users directory, Steam user, app data, local, Wiimod, and here's the Wiimod.exe, all right? Here's where it's installed. So we're gonna copy this location, okay? Because 
I'm going to change that installer file. So we're not going to run the installer file anymore. We're going to run the VMOD file. That's what we want. So we have to change this. So I'm going to paste the location, click the tick mark, and then choose VMOD.exe. Okay, so now it's, it's changed the path to the VMOD executable that we want. All right. And make sure at the front, we put the quotation mark. And also at the end, we put the quotation mark. All right. You need to add this or it doesn't work. So you need to put the quotation mark. And in the start in, we just paste the uh, location. All right. We just paste the location without the exe. All right. And no quotation mark. And yeah, that's basically it. The incompatibility. Oh, no. We should actually install. We should actually install .NET Framework with this first. Okay. So just we're leaving the compatibility on 6.19 GE2. All right. Now open Proton Tricks. If you don't have it, you go to Discover Store, right? I'm not going to show that again. I'm pretty sure you guys know the drill now. Okay, so uh, we've got a uh, warning. So yeah, I'm just going to close it. All right, and then we're going to go into VMOD 8.11.6.exe. All right. Okay, and then we get another warning that because we're on 6.19, that you don't have to worry about that. Just click OK. Okay, now select a wine default, the default wine prefix. Okay, and then go to run wine config. Make sure we're on Windows 7. So now it's on Windows 10. So we need to go to Windows 7 because we want to install .NET Framework 4.8 and it doesn't um, install on Windows 10. Then go to run uninstaller. Okay. And then install. Okay, and then we're going to select the exe. I'm going to go to my downloads page folder. Then I'm going to select the Windows frame, uh, the .NET Framework 4.8 offline installer. I'll leave a link in the description where to download this. All right, so we're going to install .NET Framework 4.8 uh, with the Proton 6.19 GE2. All right, we're going to install it once with GE with this. Proton. So again, Proton 6.19 GE2. Because um, sometimes you just can't directly install it with Proton Experimental. Proton Experimental is the ultimate Proton that we want to use this on because most games work with Proton Experimental and that always gets updated. Um, so that's, that's the one we want to use. But if you just install with, uh, .NET framework 4.8 with Proton Experimental, it just, sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay. So, okay, I've read and accept the license terms. So install. Okay. So I'm installing it right now on this Proton. Okay. 6.19 GE2. This is not what we want, but we have to do this step because once you install it here, it's easier to install on Proton Experimental. All right. So this is an, an important step. Some people always message me. They say they can't get .NET Framework 4.8 to install. This is one of the reasons why. Okay. So just wait for it. So if you're liking the video so far, please like the video. Okay, installation is complete. Okay, done. Then we just click OK and we get out of Proton Tricks. Okay. So cancel, cancel. And then we change the Proton to Proton Experimental. This is the one we want. Okay. Then open Proton Tricks again. Ignore the warning. Okay. Go to Remod 8.11.6 again. Double click. So now we're running it on Proton Experimental. We're running the Proton Tricks of Remod 8.11.6. On Proton Experimental. This changes the prefix folder. It changes it. Okay, just wait for it. Feels like nothing's happening. Normally you panic, but it's working. Okay, so select the default wire prefix again, run uninstaller. Okay, and now you see we've got Microsoft.NET Framework 4.8 installed. We've got to 
uninstall it. So click remove and modify. And then remove .NET Framework 4.8 from this computer. And we're doing this with Proton Experimental. Okay, so just we're removing it. Now remove, uh, we're uninstalling it because this is not the version we want. We installed it on Proton 6.19 GE2. That's not what we want. So that's why we're uninstalling it. This makes it easier for us to install it again on Proton Experimental. So you're probably wondering why, why you just install it and then now you're uninstalling it. That's the reason why. Okay, so just let it do its thing. Please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. We have a lot of videos regarding um, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. Mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. We have a lot. And also how to install Windows games on the Steam Deck. We have a lot of those tutorials that might be of interest to you guys. All right, now removal is complete. Finish. And now we can try to install it again because we're on Proton Experimental, all right? So let's try to install it, see if it works. Okay, so we're gonna select our, our .NET Framework 4.8 offline installer again, and install. Sometimes you can just directly install um, with Proton Experimental. But yeah, I've I've done it a few times that it works. But um, this is the most um, most way uh, convenient way, like guaranteed way that it would work. So that's why I'm recommending do this step. Continue, and then I have read and accept the license terms. Install. Okay, let it install. So if it installs, we've done it correctly. Just wait for it. it, takes a bit of time. This is my first time installing um, 8.11.6 Vmod as well. Okay, so it looks good. Looks like it's going through. Yep, installation is complete. So it's done. I click OK. Double check it. I'm going to go to the installer game, make sure everything's there. Yeah, .NET Framework's there. It's good. Okay, and then I'm going to change the wine config. I'm going to change it back to Windows 10 because most games run on Windows 10, okay? Because I run my games with Wiimod. So I'm gonna use this prefix to run the game, okay? So, okay, okay, now we're gonna to try to run the game. See if it works, like Wiimod, not the game, Wiimod, we're gonna run Wiimod. And hopefully we don't get the antivirus message. If we do, oh, we don't. Yeah, okay, so there you go. There you go. I'm, I'm dead. Okay, so let me try to log in. Uh, log in now. Okay. Okay, so there we go. That's 8. Uh, 8.11.6 so yeah it's not the version that's blocking you from installing this if you get the antivirus message um there's another way to fix it you need to use a uh a prefix folder and overwrite uh that's an i'll leave a link in the description for how to do that but um yeah that's a different story all right so that's how you install wemod 8.11.6 onto your Steam Deck, all right? So yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.